today on a very special game socket. The time has finally come. Join us as we host an emotional surprise intervention for game socket owner Mike Graham. Will Mike accept help? Or burn his final bridges? Tensions will erupt and egos will explode. Plus, we're looking back at the best and not so best moments in game socket history. The episode that will leave GameSocket forever changed starts now. Is looking back, the best of memories and moments from GameSocket, an intervention special. And now, from the GameSocket Intervention Studios, guest host Brian Moppin. Hello, welcome to GameSocket. Uh, I'm your guest host, I'm Brian Moppin. This is a very special edition of GameSocket. This is looking back the best of memories and moments from GameSocket and Intervention Special. You guys, we've been talking about having this for a little while now. Um, this is sort of a clip show, but with a twist, uh, because we are housing an intervention for Mike Graham. Uh, you'll see Mike isn't here yet. He is on his way. He just texted me, and he is um, driving here right now. Uh, we've set up this intervention. Um, we have reached out to all of his closest friends and family members. Unfortunately, um, most of them did not respond, but we do have... Um, a host of people here today to talk to Mike um, about what he's been going through and what his life has become and hopefully turn him down um, the correct path in life. Um, I do want to mention all of our decor and craft services here were uh, brought to you guys by the Green Saddle Thrift Value Mall. Um, this is actually a thrift store locally that's kind of famous. Um, I've actually started working there part time and was able to use my uh, employee discount to kind of get a, a good deal on some of this stuff. Uh, we also had some donors from our Patreon. Uh, thanks to those Patreon members for helping um, get all the stuff you see here today. Unfortunately, I was not able to secure an, an interventionist after I purchased all of this. Um, so I'll be serving as the interventionist today. With me today, uh, as always in GameSocket, is our segment producer, Dominic Pedroza. Thanks for having me here. Come in here, Dominic. Thanks for being here. We've also got... He won't stop. And Mike has arrived, it looks like. Something Mike, so do you want to give him his mic, and Dominic? Comes Dominic? To Dominic? Dominic, oh, okay. I love you. you. Gotta be careful, Dominic. What the hell is going on here? What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? You gotta be careful because we're tied up, together, Dominic. Our, our microphones are on the same line, so you can't get up unless you get. Sit down, Brian. I can't. We're tied together, Mike. We've got the same microphone line. What's happening right here? Don't worry about it, Mike. Just have a seat. We'll explain everything. We've got snacks today. We're filming an episode. Game Where's stopping. my desk? Uh, your desk is, we've taken it to the cleaners, so... Where's no, my no. desk? Have a seat over here. Sit right here, Mike. Sit down. Just sit down, we'll explain everything. We've got snacks. Look at the snacks. I thought we were making a show today. We are, but we got snacks too. Okay, all right. Mike, thanks for coming. Uh, we're all here today because we all care about GameSocket, and we're actually filming a special episode of GameSocket all about you, Mike. It's all about you today. We're just asking you to listen. You don't have to say anything. You don't, you don't have to okay. subscribe Try to any of my cheese, outlines. Mike. Yeah, you don't have to follow my outlines or anything. You just need to kind of listen to what we have to say. Smoky. Yeah. Mm. So, Mike, we're all here today because we care about GameSocket. And we care uh, about its direction, the quality of... No, oh, thank you, Dominic. I'm, I'm, I'm good, but thank you. Um, Hit me. We care about the ah, quality smoky. of GameSocket. We care about... Mm. The, uh, the episodes are going out and how they look and how the host of the show looks. And you are also the creator of the show. Thank you, Dominic. I'm good. Thank you. So we all wanted to kind of just talk to you and level set and, and tell you how we feel, uh, Mike. So all you have to do is listen. <coughs> and if you get through today and if you agree with what we're saying, we have a special treat for you. It's a all-expense paid trip, Mike to a special facility in New, New Jersey. Um, New Jersey? I've looked at the photos myself. They have 360 photos online where you can look at it. Um, this is sponsored by the uh, Swindell Pharmaceuticals Corporation. Um, they are the makers of the uh, new Vitamin. Um, yeah, I've heard of that. Uh, 
experimental drug that they uh, apparently are working on. But they have a rehab facility, uh, Mike, and they are offering to send you there for free um, if you agree. So just listen to what I have to say. Feel like a vacation? It, it, it is sort of like a vacation, yes. So you don't have to agree to, or say anything right now. Just listen to what we have to say. Uh, we've all written letters, Mike. I just want to know where my desk is at. Your desk is being cleaned right now. Because I thought we were making an episode. We are making an episode right now. See, the cameras are here. We're all, the lights are on. We're here. The microphone's recording. So just just listen, remember. Fucking bright. Try, try to remember. Just just listen real quick, okay? So we've all written letters to, to you, Mike, to you, about you. Oh, you wrote me a letter? Yes, I wrote you a letter. You're reading me a letter. I am reading you a letter, yes. Did you write this? Did you write it with your hand? I wrote it. It's in my handwriting and everything. Okay. Uh, Mike, I'm here today because you are my coworker and my boss and because I care about this brand. Your affliction has negatively affected me in the following ways. Your alcohol-fueled rage has resulted in negative fewer comments. Your daily routine revolves around drinking and when drinking, you never answer my calls or messages. What's happening? Uh, your ability to make s- sound business decisions is already suspect when you are sober. Wait. When what you is are the- drunk, they are erratic, unsound, and self centered. I'm almost done. What Just kind a of letter is this supposed to be? You'll figure it out. You'll see in the I end. thought you were writing me a letter. I am. Uh, your obsession no, with. No, you're writing, you're reading your me a letter. Your obsession with conspiracies. That's about bad. Has consumed you, especially the Lee Harvey Oswald theories. And your enthusiasm for GameSocket has only no, suffered... No, I don't have any theories about Lee Harvey Oswald. That's the thing. Lee Harvey Oswald was the lone gunman. Your enthusiasm for GameSocket has only surfaced when you are sober. Please accept our help today, Mike, and we will no longer allow... Uh, or we will no longer allow our addiction to control our to lives and livelihoods. Sorry, I can't read what I wrote here. If you refuse our help, uh, we will be uh, support. We will. Uh, it's terrible. We will not. Next. We will not Next. be supportive of the lifestyle you have chosen. Uh, Try again. Should have wrote a better letter. <laughs> okay, Dominic, did you bring a letter? Stupid. Uh, yeah, can you get the letter out of your shoe? Uh, Brian asked me to write something, so I wrote something for you, Mike. Where's the letter at? In. You in wrote your me a letter sh- too. Mm-hmm. Is it about the same thing? It's over in the cabinet? What is it supposed uh, to be? It's in your shoe. Uh, you're saying it's in my shoe? There's nothing in my shoe, Dominic. Yeah, check your check your shoe. I put Mike's note in There's there. There's nothing you in my shoe. You put a letter Dominic. in his shoe? There is a letter in my shoe. <laughs> How did you get this in my shoe? <coughs> what did you put this in here? If you... <coughs> Why did you put this in here? I didn't want to lose it. Oh, do you want me to? Yeah, can maybe you should read it. Smart. So you're supposed to write him letters. You're not supposed to. Okay. So okay. this this. Bring is, it on. I'm ready. I don't think you. I don't think Dominic understood. This is like a, this is just a list of ingredients: meat, meat carrots, milk, <coughs> lime jello, soy sauce, and yeah. So- socks. Yeah, that's that's the wrong one. Uh, where's the, maybe? Can you check your shoe? How'd you get an issue? Dominic, why are you doing this? <laughs> Thank you. Why are you storing notes and shoes? I didn't want to lose them. Mike. Dominic. It is hard. Hmm. Um... Okay. Um, all right. Thanks, Dominic, for that letter. I get you. Does anyone else have any letters they'd like to share with Mike today? Um, check your shoes, Mike. Uh, check your shoes. I Dominic. There's, a, there's one more in there. I place. have a letter. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Dominic? <laughs> <coughs> You're supposed to write. You're supposed to write the letter and bring it. Is what I said to do. That's good. No. It's a picture of us three. Brian, making me. Hmm. Game socket. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you, Dominic. That's 
Very touching. And Dominic. Thank you. Dominic, our microphones are attached. You have to not. You can't do that. You have you you have to stay seated. I know you like to hug, but our microphone every time you get up, it's pulling me over there with you. All right. Mike, we also asked your family um, to write letters today. Unfortunately, um, they declined um, that invitation. But uh, I know if they were here, um, they Apparently would. Apparently, this isn't very important then, is it? I know if they were here, they would have written some touching words for you as well. Um, before we continue on with this intervention today, I want to take a look back at some of Mike's uh, moments that led us to this road that we're on today, um, to this crossroad that we've reached today. So. Crisco is here. Um, I, uh, Crisco, I know that I told you that um, you'd be producing today, but uh, that your, your assistance is actually not needed. Um, I have set up everything via remote so that you cannot mess this up. So we're going to cut to the montage from Mike. Uh. It's up until 3, uh, 3.30 in the morning, drinking, uh, you know, binge drinking. Last week was hell for me. I was on a bender that I haven't been since I was young. Mike is the drunk, abusive father of GS. There's no problem with me drinking. I just don't feel good because I drank too much last night. If you want to get drunk as fast as you can, here's what you do. Start the night off uh, before you go anywhere. And you're done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get it all out, Mike. Okay. Dominic. All right. Stop it. Turn it off. Chris, go. Crisco! Crisco can't turn Shut it down! Crisco can't turn it Shut down. it down! I'll pause it. What's wrong, Mike? I know what this is. I know what you're trying to do. I get it. I thought you were trying to send me on a vacation, but now I see what this is. You're trying to get me to stop drinking. Yes, you're right. We are trying to get you to s stop with the drinking. Out of your own and... selfish motives, as usual, this is all about Brian no. wanting something because he doesn't no. like when I drink while we're recording a show. So now it's going to affect him. So he's got to sit down this and have will everyone affect sit Dominic. down here and Mike. try to get me to stop doing something. Calm Where's down. my desk, Brian? Calm down, Mike. Calm down. You just ruined. One out of one. How am I supposed to calm there. down? Just, you just I'll ruined get, the drink tray. I'll get you something, Mike. Dominic. Dominic. You Our stay down there. You fucking prick! Our microphones are attached, go, Dominic. Oh, is that a Reds? All right, okay, I'll listen. I'll listen. Oh my God. All of our food <clears throat> is ruined. Thanks, Mike. Oh, that's fucking good. Did you give him a drink? Yeah, I figured I'd give him something Why to drink. Why are there drinks he in was, here? He was thirsty. Where did you get it from? The fridge. <sighs> Why are there drinks in the fridge? There's supposed to be sodas in there. I tried to make an outline, and once again, it's ruined. We're gonna keep rolling here, Mike. You know, like I said, you don't have to agree to anything, you just have to listen. That's all you have to do, you just have to listen. Part of the healing process, and part of my job as an interventionist, is to help Mike heal. Um, and through that is the lie detector, is what I'm gonna call it. Mike, you and I have had a lot of history in our short time together on GameSocket. Unfortunately, you have lied a lot to myself and to the Socketeers. And you haven't lied? And our fans. Is it the booze makes me lie? Because you lie all the time, and I don't see you drinking. Hang on, Mike. Today's not about me today. It's about Mike. Of course. And I want to take. Uh, I want to show the, a couple clips here. Um, I want to remind our viewers of the power. He's going to show me drinking. No. Because guess what? There's no drinking in these clips. This Watch is, it. This is the power up price pyramid. I want to remind our viewers about that. So let's take a look. An incredibly special episode of Game Socket. We are holding a sweepstakes, Very a handsome. giant prize giveaway worth over two thousand dollars. It's the Game Socket Power, power up, up Prize Pyramid. They gave me some damaged goods. If you see that this right here, one of our best episodes. I actually will be making sure that I return this stuff and get you guys perfect copies of all this. So you will not have a thing. You know, this one came damaged too. Look at this. Are you taking all? Yeah, I have to get, I have to return the damaged ones. And well, those aren't damaged. What about, well, it doesn't matter. Okay. I still have to get them, I, they have to go with me. All right, so that was the Power Up Prize Pyramid. I just wanted to remind our viewers of that episode and what went down in that episode. We had all these prizes to give away, and then there was... It's a good episode. Happened? 
What happened with the prizes? Uh, just to remind our viewers. Uh, I had to return everything. Was it a GameStop that you returned it to? Yeah. Okay. That's right. All right. Um, oh, and I actually forgot, before we go any further, I got us all custom shirts for this episode, and I completely forgot to give them to you guys. So let me grab... Dominic, you'll have to come with me because we are tethered together here at this microphone. So let me just grab them here. Let's all walk that way. I'll hand these out. Um, Kind of one by one here. Let's see here. We've got one for Dominic. We've got one for me. We've got uh, one for Mike. Nice. All right. Um, yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> yeah, these are our special. You guys, maybe we can order, put these together for Do fans. Can we put them too. on now? Yeah, you can put them on now if you want. Um, I love a new shirt. These are Game Socket Intervention shirts. There you go. I think it looks. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. Um, so now we have all our shirts on. Mike, you've... Okay. Um, before we go any further, I want to show another quick clip. Now, we, should, we reminded everyone about the Power Up Prize Pyramid, Mike, and how you had to return all of those items back to the store from which they came, right? Why is this... Why are you using this as a gotcha moment? It, well, let's, let's find out. Let's have a look at the clip, Mike. Hey, guys. All right. So we've got... You'll see the end of the episode here. What the fuck is this? And you'll notice this other Why camera Why is there another angle. camera? You'll see this other camera angle. I recorded this by myself in my driveway. That's what you thought, Mike. After that episode ended, you thought I went home, but actually I stuck around a little bit. I've got some exclusive footage here that I want to share with the viewers. What ex footage? What does this say anything? I'm telling you what I'm doing. Let's just listen, Mike. You call me a conspiracy theorist. It started off that way, Mike. That's true. We'll but see. As everyone will see, things got a little stormy as we went on. How did I not see you? That bush is like this big. <coughs> I think I think we'll see another. I think we'll see why you didn't see me here in a second. Here, uh, another one of these clips I took. So here you are. You're getting into the car to take these items back. All the prizes from the Power Up Prize Pyramid back to the store, right? Yeah. We're going back to the store. Oh. oh, something came off the front. Yeah, something did come off the front. What is this? Looks like you dropped <laughs> something there. That is a copy of Mario Kart 8. Yeah. So great. Just want to show that. Whoops! Whoops! Here we are. Uh, no wonder that the total wasn't the right thing. Here we are. Um, it looks like you've stopped the car. Are you following me? You'll notice that Mike is driving here with an open container on his left. The door open. I can't believe you followed me. This is a breach of trust. You are driving away. Uh, Great, I'm driving my car. Having a drink as you go. Look classy. That's you know, not, all. Stuck That's not up. all. Here's your next clip. Great. Where are you at? Sorry guys, I'm breaking in again. You're at a GameStop. Okay. Just I'm as you sorry. said. Just as you said. You're right back at the GameStop. Buddy. Yeah. Have I told a lie yet, anybody? Yeah. Nope. Not yet. And Everything is lining up. That's as you said, which is good news for you, Mike. You are a fucking creep. Do you understand that? You are weird. Are you hanging outside my bedroom while me and my wife are making love? No, Mike. Here's the important part. Later on in the day, you went to the GameStop. As you said in your video, they wouldn't take your stuff back. Here you are at a parking lot at a Walgreens. Not too far from that GameStop, pulling the stuff out of the trunk. There's the Stan Lee book, back when Stan, Still Alive Stan Lee was still alive. That's right, it's Still Alive Stan Lee signed that book. And he was still alive. Here you go, oh, there's another car here, it looks like. 
Right near the last lane. Right? Mike, do you want to describe what's happening here, or should I? You don't want to know what's happening here, Brian. I'm talking to the driver, it looks like, and here we see. Yep, that looks like the Nintendo Switch box. It's going into his. Is he going and getting in the car with him? No. No. You're putting the boxes in there, the items, in his car. Michael. Brian, you should stop this now. You don't know what you're doing. I know exactly what I'm doing, Mike. I am letting our viewers know the truth. Reaching into the car, out comes what is this? It's a Bissell DSC 1000. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, my parents have one of these exactly. It's a good model, but it appears you've traded the video games for a carpet cleaner. Mike. You don't want to do this, Brian. It's already done. Like, you did this. Here you are taking the carpet cleaner at your car and loading it. You're loading it into the front window, which doesn't make sense unless, of course. Why doesn't that make sense? Easy in, easy out. It's sitting there in your front seat. Why not put it in the back seat? Because he's wasted, that's why. So you put it in there, you've traded away all the prizes for the power up, power up prize pyramid, you've lied to the viewers, and here you go with the car driving it away. Mm. Thinking that all of us will be none the wiser, Mike. So there we go. Okay, like we I said, this is, stop this. this is part of the healing. You know what? It's submitting to the lies. What does healing mean to you? You know, you're an asshole, do you know that? I'm the asshole because I produced an entire episode around a contest, then took all the items, sold them, traded them away, and told okay. the view, and I still aired that episode. Listen, I'm not I'm a perfect asshole. person. I'm not a perfect person, but when I found out I couldn't afford the insurance uh, surrounding a big prize giveaway like that, I tried to return the stuff, then and I was gonna cancel everything. Hold on, let me talk. You never one, one second relent. You're a dick every episode, and you make me look like the dick. Why? Why did I have brought up the power power up prize pyramid Dominic, so many times? Drink. Dominic, do not get him another drink. Dominic, 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 you're gonna pull me again. I've brought up this power up pri power up prize pyramid so many times, and um, if you are under a sober state of mind, you would have traded away maybe that citizen watch and that's all you would have needed to trade away but because you were plastered you gave that guy all that stuff and all you got back was a carpet cleaner mike even if you had good intentions i'll give you that maybe you had good intentions but you still scam the fans you still lied to the fans about this i didn't lie to anybody i said when we put the episode out when we put the fucking episode out i wrote i read Lie to the we fans. we canceled it! I wrote it and I did something nice for you! Let me see if I ever do that again! Thanks, Mike. Let's Thanks calm down. Mike. I can't believe we're sitting here in a fucking intervention! Thank you, Mike. Mike, we're at this intervention because of you. The only one's fault that we're here is the alcohol. And we're tangled up again, my, Dominic. All right, I want to shift gears. I want to stop pointing the finger at Mike for a second here, and I want to start pointing the finger at Crisco. Um, I've got a montage here of what Crisco's done for the show. And, you know, he came on. Um, <laughs> if you could please not do that, Mike. Crisco came onto the show as uh, the senior producer um, you guys met him in California, and since then, he's done a lot of work for the show. Let's show um, some of his best moments um, where he has really brought the show to a new level. Let's cut to that montage right now. Brian, I, I thought this was, I thought we were going to be helping Mike with this. Well, we are helping Mike today, but we also want to address Crisco here today, Dominic, so. But that isn't, Crisco has nothing to do with Mike. Yeah. Well, what Crisco, the hell is this, Brian? Crisco has been egging you on, and he's been bringing this show down, hey! too. What is it? Okay, is this an intervention? Stop! Crisco's leaving. We don't need him anyway, because I am doing this all via remote, so we're going to watch this clip of Crisco's... Turn it off now, Brian! Mike! 
We're gonna watch is this, this clip. Is this about you? Or is this about, is this about, the, is this about me? Or is this about what, the things that you're not happy about? What is this really about, Brian? Because if you're bringing Crisco Welcome to into another this, episode this isn't, of Dom's Code Corner. This isn't Crisco. About, this, code corner. this isn't about my drinking if you're bringing We're Crisco. Into this. What, is, so what, what is Crisco have to do with Favorite games when I was young. We're back. Um, we've all calmed down a little bit. We've all done some screaming, some crying. We've got the cake here. I want to say thank you to the Green Saddle Thrift Value Mall Bakery for whipping up this intervention cake for us. Uh, but we are running short on time here and I really need to um, get to this point where we can ask this question Mike so I need to ask you um, we've got this wonderful facility in New Jersey um, sponsored by the uh, Swindell Pharmacy it is um, it's in North New Jersey but it's very nice I've seen the pictures it's they've got um, double bed rooms they have uh, vending machines all kinds of cool stuff there and we're gonna send you there for free, Mike, and they're gonna help you get better, it, but you have to accept it. We can't just send you there. Um, no cost to you, no cost to your family, 100% covered by this um, experimental um, drug company that is willing to lend us a hand when we need it. Um, Mike, will you accept, we know that you need a hand, will you accept this hand, this, this gift? Fuck you, Brian. I'm running out of options here. Um, I do have one last nuclear option, and um, I didn't want to have to unleash this on you, but if that's what it's going to take to get you to accept this help and this advice that we're trying to give to you, then so be it. Um, ugh. We've got one more clip here we want to show, Mike, and I'd like you to turn your attention to the TV again. Um, you just have to listen. Let's take a look at this clip. We're outside now, uh, outside the Anaheim Convention Center, and uh, we have actually a... Oh, is it ringing? It's Mike. Hang on. Hello? Brian? Brian, can you hear me? Yeah. Are you in a place where you can talk right now? Yeah, we're actually uh, trying to shoot something okay, right now. stop so. talking. Listen, I need you to do something. I spent a ton of money to send you out there instead of me and i need you to go ahead and grab as much of that free swag and memorabilia at all the no, stands as you can so we can give it away on the show i didn't plan didn't plan on you asking me to do this i didn't have the do luggage not come back without an entire bag full of swag all right i need i need the swag okay i may have to sell it i need the money okay it, and this is very important if you even think you're going to be coming home I need you to go to the San Bernardino Police Department, contact Officer Reyes, and let him know that his money is on the way. Do you understand how important it is? I am not fucking around. Right. Do not fuck this up. Okay. I've got a lot going on right now and a lot writing on this. There's a lot of moving parts, and I can't have you fucking this up. All right. Get it okay. done. Bye. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video and document it on my own personal um, phone device. Um, I'm going to sell the list on Mike Graham, uh, who sent me out here, just called me and uh, told me that he expected me to, to go down to the sheriff's office um, after the con's over to deliver a message to an officer, Reyes, that, uh, and the message was that uh, he would have uh, money for him soon. Um, and you guys know that uh, Mike has had some legal troubles here in California when he, when he and Dominic came out here for E3. Uh, I think it's very shady. The camera guy that Mike has hired um, to follow me around out here is also been um, like following me into the restroom and doing really shady things like recording me when I didn't know I was being recorded. I'm sure that Mike has t asked this camera person to keep just keep a general eye on me, which um, is really concerning as well. And on top of that, Mike has the goal to say that I cannot come back until I've collected you know a backpack full of 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 of, of con. Uh, merchandise and, and 
swag and all the things that they give away here, um, brochures, because he intends to resell it on the internet. So uh, I just wanted to document this in case something happens to me. You know, Mike controls my ticket back home, my, my Greyhound ticket, so I've got to play this close to the chest for now. Um, thanks, for, thanks for listening, guys. You don't need to, you can turn this off, no. All right, so just to recap, Mike, you sent me that convention and you wanted me to bring back posters, magazines, uh, anything that was free that I could get my hands on, right? To do what, give away to fans? Is that what you said? Yeah, it, prizes like uh, Patreon rewards for whatever tier. Yeah, giveaways, which we haven't done any since, so. Yeah, giveaways have had a real um, shady reputation at GameSocket and um, I'm sorry to say this is another one of them, Mike. What I want to get to, Mike, is this. What I have here is a uh, envelope um, that I purchased off eBay. And in this envelope, um, in here I've got a, uh, a BlizzCon 2019 store catalog. This is being sold on eBay. Um, and it's weird because I, I collected these from BlizzCon. And I brought them to Mike's house, and Mike said that he's going to give these to viewers. That could be that could be any catalog from anybody, and that's true, Mike. This could have been any. Like these were all over the con. I brought back about fifty of these myself. Um, these are the BlizzCon store catalogs, 2019. They were yeah, free. Tons of them. Free. Tons, tons of, of them. them. Tons of them. Right. But the thing is, when I brought these to your house. I thought that these were going to go to fans, so what I did was I, the ones at your house anyway, I put GameSocket stickers in there because I had a bunch of GameSocket stickers and I thought it would be a cool bonus to give to Socketeers if you're giving these out for free. But that's weird because the eBay seller that I bought this from also put GameSocket stickers. Okay. GameSocket stickers. Let me show this to everyone. Okay. Into the camera. All right. There's a GameSocket sticker right there. All right, I'm done. Put it down, Brian. Everyone get your point. How could this eBay seller have gotten that? Everyone get your point. Dominic. I see what's happening here. I need to know what you think. Because I'm about to lose my mind with you guys teaming up on me. Mike, and you seem to be sitting over there by Brian we just and not saying anything. We want to do what's best for you, Mike. We want to help you. No, you don't want to help me. You want to point out shit that you think I did wrong. You're not trying to help me. You're trying to boost your own fucking ego, Brian, and say, look at all this stuff. Blah, blah, blah. I'm right. I'm Brian. I'm cool. I'm good. Well, you know what? You're definitely not cool, and you're definitely not fucking good, Dominic. You brought up some good points, Mike, and I mean, why aren't we just giving these to our fans? That's where you're going? You're taking Brian's side? I don't think it's anyone's side, Mike, but our fans shouldn't be paying for this. I mean, we're going to give it to them, right? You know what? Get out of my house! Out! Out! Game Socket is over! Do you understand? Game Socket is done! Done! Brian, look at me! Look at me, Brian! Come here! Come here, Brian! Come here! You can have it! You can have it! You can have Game Socket! You wanted it all along! Brian! Get out of my house! Do you understand? Get out of my house! Go! Go! Please! You can have this stupid show! You understand? Go! going um you guys we are here in dominic's car outside a safe distance away from uh, mike's residence the intervention is over it's gone really poorly mike has essentially kicked us out um, i was able to grab this camera on the way out as sort of our severance pay i think um, but he has made it clear that uh, he no longer wishes us to have anything to do with him so how did he do this to us brian do this to our fans i saw this coming from miles away you guys and one of Mike's superpowers is that he is incredibly deceitful um, and he can trick 
so many people into doing what he wants. He's manipulative. My superpower is I could see right through him from the very beginning. I was just like a laser right through him. Uh, I tried to warn you guys. I tried to warn Dominic. I tried to warn the viewers. I, I, I drop subtle hints all the time on the show. And I think I thoughtfully and respectfully tried to voice my concerns when I was able to on the show. And um, that didn't work. I don't know what the future of the show looks like now because we do not have access to the studio. We have a camera. We have Dominic's car. I suppose we could do like a mobile game socket show where we are in your car. I don't know what your schedule like is, Dominic, but I do have an outline for an episode. Uh, I keep emergency outlines, so. Let's uh, try it. Yeah, if we just want to go ahead and, and this is the pilot episode of, uh, you know, game socket um, board focus edition. So let's start off today, Dominic, by talking a little bit about um, our normal segment is uh, we do this every week. Uh, what have you been playing outside of the uh, Dominic's car, and how was it? Uh, I have been playing a, a little game called Last of Us Part Two. You guys, this game is a highly anticipated sequel to The Last of Us, the first game, which did, was not called Last of Us Part One, which is a little, a little bit of a strange design decision to, to not call it Part One when the sequel is called Part Two. But. Uh, 